Stevie, looking at Division 2 of the National League, you know what? It's a bit of a nightmare league when you take a look at it. The teams are in it. They're going to be bad. It's going to be a real battle between relegation and promotion. It's going to be a knife edge. Yeah, and I don't think there's going to be very much between relegation and promotion come the end of the league. Um, there may only be a few points and a win here or there, or a draw here or there, may be the difference in Spain it one way or another for, for some teams. Um, you look at the quality of the teams and there is some very strong contenders in there. Some teams with great attacking flair as well and it's a very exciting Division 2 um, this year so it is with the, with the quality of teams is in there. A lot of talk about Galway and uh, they would be the tip of many people to win uh, Division 2. Would you go along with that? You'd have to fancy their chances alright. Um, based on their underage success over the last couple of years. They won an under-21 title two years ago, so <clears throat> you would expect them to have that maturity coming through with the players that have tasted success before and you know to build on that. Um, but Galway, as we know over the last number of years, sometimes fail to deliver, so it's hard to know exactly where they'll be. Under the guidance of Kevin Walsh, you would expect him to, to get and demand more from the team, so I don't think they'll be too far off promotion anyway. You talk about teams failing to deliver. You look at Kildare, relegated last season, the tip by many to win Division 2, mugged by Down in the last minute, not once but twice. Unbelievable, and Down showed nothing in the Mechanic yeah, Cup. Yeah, well, Down always have a great ability to score goals, and that's been their trademark down through the years. And even when they're not playing particularly well, um, a couple of goals in a short space of time can overturn any team, and um, they showed that quality once again at the weekend. Kildare... Um, 10 minutes before they conceded the goals missed a penalty so it may have been a, a totally different outcome in that game but you have to hand it to down they went down to Kildare to score 313 and you know that, that's a decent um, scoreline by any team's achievements and especially when you're playing away to Kildare so you know you have to hand it to down um, disappointing league campaign or McKenna Cup campaign but you know very important result for down to get off the winning start under Jim Carrey in the National League. Division 2 looks almost like a mini Leinster League as well too, a lot of sides in there as well, but who would you see as almost the dark horses? You know, you're thinking there would be Galway, Kildare, I don't know, maybe Meath, you know, there's a choice of three or four teams, yeah. but who do you think might be the dark horses in there? I still think Kildare are going to be one of the teams that will gain promotion. Yes, they were relegated last year, but when you look down through the list of teams, you know, they're the team with probably the most experience in there and the team with probably the most quality as well. Um, the one thing that I think is value for money here at 7-1 to one is Roscommon. Fantastic success once again at underage level over the last number of years. And you know a number of those players are starting to come through the ranks now at senior level and to have some fantastic, exciting players as well. And to have the experience within the team as well. So there seems to be a good mix and blend there. And I don't think Roscommon will be a million miles away from promotion either. And I think if it was the pick two contenders now to challenge for a Division, division 2 fight, Final, I would say Kildare and Roscommon. And Roscommon, to be fair, played Armagh in the Championship last year. Armagh were on a roll, went down. It was a great game, I was at it. Roscommon are strong and they're big and they're committed. And this league will be important to them, unlike maybe other sides. Yeah, they will use this league as a stepping stone to gear themselves towards the Connacht Championship. Make no mistake about it, Roscommon will be eyeing up a Connacht Championship title this year. That's, that's their priority and... Um, obviously getting out of Division 2 as well and getting promotion so you know I think there will be a team that will challenge a lot of um, teams this year in, in the bigger games and don't be far off Bit of a nightmare as I said but who would you think will go down? Um, I think Leash at 22-1 to 1 here is a wee bit high I wouldn't rate them that poorly to be honest maybe got off to a disappointing start last weekend but um, you know the, the next lowest team is Westmead at 9-1 to 1, so I think there's a big difference or a big gap but you know, for teams for relegation in that division, you would probably opt for maybe Westmead and Cavan, to be honest. I think Leash will just about hang on.